Can you hear it? It's Blender Fluid Simulation time! If you want to make cool animations like this in Blender, you've come to the right place. For this video, we'll go through the whole process of making a realistic water simulation. To do this, we'll use a 3D model I made in a previous video. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a really cool video where I show how I use my drone to turn this tunnel into a 3D model. The link will be in the comments. Whoa! Whoa! Alright, alright. I'm using Blender 4.5, but this will work for all the upcoming updates. Now, for this tutorial, you'll need two things. First, you'll need the Flip Fluid add-on installed. You can get the demo or the full license. Both links are in the description. The demo of the add-on is pretty much the same as the paid version. The main difference is the big watermark when you bake your simulation. The second thing you need for this tutorial is the 3D model of the tunnel that I'll be using. It's available for free on the Patreon page. Just go to patreon.com slash versatile underscore vertices and get the free trial of the supporter tier. The link will be in the description. Let's get started. Uh-oh. Oh. Alright, so if you haven't done it already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the Flip Fluid add-on installed. Just go download the demo or uh, get the full license. And now let's import the model that we got from the Patreon page. So for this fluid simulation tutorial, we'll use two models. One low poly model and one high poly model. Let's import both of them. Now I think they're quite small, we might have to adjust the scale, yeah, these are a bit small, let's scale them up four times. Do the same thing with the, the other model, that's the high poly, and let's import the low poly. And scale it four times. Now let's hide the high poly one, the one million faces, and that's the low poly which we'll use as an obstacle for the uh, fluid simulation. can delete some uh, faces that we won't use. All right, you can go into material preview if you want to see the colors of the model. There it is. Looks pretty nice. Even the low poly one is not bad. But yeah, we can see here that's all the, um, the faces that the photogrammetry from the previous video didn't catch on but we don't care about this all we care about is the tunnel the rocks all the details here all right to get started let's make a cube go into the flip fluid add-on tab to the right here and click on create domain with the cube selected it's going to turn into a wireframe and this is the domain of our simulation. That's uh, where the uh, water will be inside. And we want to make it uh, as small as possible, but it has to be uh, where your water will flow. So we can scale it down a bit, bring it up, and make it as wide as you're seeing. So like this here, yeah, this is a, this tutorial, uh, I won't go into all the details of the shortcut. I expect, I expect you to, to know them if you come into a fluid simulation tutorial. But yeah, so the water won't go uh, higher than this here. We can raise up the, the lower face. Every every space counts because the the bigger this the bigger the domain the more taxing it will be for your computer so make it as small as possible there you go okay that's fine now to be able to bake a simulation you need to save your file first you can see it here unsaved file save it first all right so we got our domain ready now let's turn the tunnel model into a an obstacle so when you select the tunnel you can click here in the tab and click on obstacle this will make sure the water doesn't go through it you can go in the physics tab and you'll see here flip fluid type obstacle now let's create the water let's make a cylinder um, rotate it 
and put it at the entrance of the tunnel. We can squish it down like this and bring it inside the tunnel. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Let's turn it into an inflow. So there is a few other, uh, there's obstacles, fluid, inflow, outflow, force. Force is not for the fluid um, simulation. It's, it's for a different type of visual effects. But um, obstacle, it's to make sure it's like a rigid body. Fluid will make uh, a one-time water come out of your object. Inflow is continuously water coming out of your object. And outflow will make your uh, water disappear when it touches the object. So here we want to turn the cylinder into an inflow. And we can test it out. Let's add a bit of velocity. Let's add minus one meter into the x-axis. That's in the physics tab. This is going to make the water go this way. All right. Let's click on auto load baked frames at the bottom here. Checkbox. Resolution 150 to start and bake. There you go. It's working. Perfect. All right. Now we're not done yet. We need to make it look good. Let's add some materials. Now select the domain. You can uh, select it here. Select objects, domain. Go in the physics tab and materials. Here, uh, surface is your water. So choose, uh, I'll choose ocean one for this one. And let's add a material for foam, bubble, and spray. Now, if the, the arrows here are red for you, just click on import. It'll be all good. Now, let's add some white water for when the water splashes. And you want to scale it down a bit to 0 0.002 in the, um, in the white water display and render. And one more thing. Oh, yeah. The water looks weird right now because we're in material preview. But if we go into the render preview, it'll look a bit better. You know, it's still weird because the resolution is not high enough. But if we raise it to 300 and reset it, bake, it's going to look a bit better. You can see the white water. Now, this is going to take some time. And um, when you bake, don't be in, in the render or the material preview. Be in the solid view or even wire wireframe. It's going to make the baking of the simulation faster. While it's baking, we can we can still work on our scene we can add a camera and with the camera selected press ctrl alt uh, zero on the numpad and it's going to bring it where uh, your viewport is and in the view camera to view we can just place it wherever we want maybe go into material preview like right here seems good all right, and while it's baking, I'm, I might as well show you a few cool things about the um, flip fluid add-on. Um, if you go in the tab here, you can see render animation. We'll do this later on, but this makes uh, makes it way easier. You can choose your output, cache directory of the simulation, and. You can also, if you if you um, select the domain and go into the settings of the simulation, you can see here you can visualize the resolution of your uh, of your grid. So the the these are all the cells. You can see this the small squares. That's the size of the cells of your simulation. If you make the resolution lower, the cells are going to be bigger. And if you make uh, if you make the resolution higher, um, the cells are going to be smaller. But it's going to be uh, way harder for your computer to make the simulation. So try to find uh, a good looking resolution number for you 
um, that won't take too much for your computer to to simulate. All right, so I'll stop the simulation here for me. You can keep on um, baking yours. So let's go in the camera view. And yeah, that's not bad. Now, one more thing we need to do. I didn't go through all the settings I chose, but um, yeah, they're, they're, they're the usuals. Use your GPU to render. But here you want to use transparent. And one more thing I can show you is the world properties. That's how I, I light my scene. I go into uh, color and sky texture. Now I use the sun intensity to 0.02. Sun elevation 19 degrees, sun rotation minus 78 degrees, and strength 0.3. And the scene is well lit. It's uh, uh, it's fine like this. And now we can press F12 to see how it looks. All right, seems fine. So you can choose a render output and write down the name of your uh, of your files. And you can click on launch render in the render animation tab it's gonna launch the terminal and it'll be way quicker this way i don't know if it makes a difference but if you go into a solid view it might be faster i don't know when it when it's using the the terminal i'm not sure if there's a difference because it doesn't load every frame in your viewport but yeah and you can go in your folder and they're all gonna show up here oh yeah one more thing i forgot before rendering is to unhide the 1 million faces and hide the 25,000 faces model. So bring back the high poly model and hide the low poly. And the low poly is still going to be there as an obstacle, but we're going to use the high poly one for the, for the rendering of the animation. Now, my bad if you already rendered your scene. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, this happens sometimes, but but you can just re-render it with the 1 million face model and there you have it. Now go in the video editing tab here and you can simply add all your uh, your rendering. Let me find it. You can simply drag and drop them here and there you have it. You can simply use Blender as a video editing. Now after that just select your output folder and you can choose FFmpeg to um, to render the animation in a, a single file. And what I did with mine is to add a simple river sound, which makes it look way more realistic. I went on uh, pixabay.com and I think my file was fast river flowing or something like that. And it sounds very good. It looks good. And there you have it. So that's it for the Flip Fluid simulation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you did. Thanks for watching. See ya.